Namaste and welcome to the BAPS Akshadam Spotlight. I'm your host, Viral Desai. Today, we continue our weekly exploration at Akshadam Motsav and the Festival Inspirations here at the BAPS Swamira Nakshadam in Robbinsville, New Jersey. In today's spotlight, we will take you on our journey through our remarkable program highlights, heartwarming volunteer stories, exciting kids' news, and motivational messages from our senior Swamis. So let's get started on this week's Spotlight. Let's kick things off by shining a spotlight on the Festival Inspirations programs. This week, we had a blast celebrating our amazing kids aged 7 to 13 during the Bal Balikadin and the joyful Rakshabandhan festivities. Come along with me as we dive into the exciting events, take in all the sights, sounds, and pure fun of this week's programs. चलें हम अक्षरधाम स्वामी नारायण अक्षरधाम चलो चलें हम अक्षरधाम स्वामी नारायण अक्षरधाम I offer you a heartfelt prayerna that I can be the best student, best daughter and best balika. I know you're with me always, protecting me, walking with me. On days I may feel alone at school, you are the one standing next to me on the school bus if no one sits next to me you are the one sitting beside me when the tv screen pulls me in one direction may the pull of your agna to be the best student be stronger when hanging out with my friends pulls me in one direction may the pull of respecting my parents wish be even stronger swami you are beyond loving beyond compassionate giver of all joy so as i conclude this prarthana today i pray for one thing and one thing only to remind me that you are always with me physically near or far when i remember you and pray to you your presence is always felt this i humbly pray for today dear children of akshardha Jai Swami Narayan from Sadhu Keshav Girandas. I am very excited to meet you all because you are all Akshar Dham Namukta. As a token for completing Smruti storage successfully, I present you with this. You found your first connection to Swami Baba through Smruti. Well done! And the Agna Express. And, oh wait, as a token of our appreciation for choosing the Agna Express, I have something for you. Thank you, Swami Baba. We finally got the third token. Mission Akshadam, Mission Meet Swami Baba. Here we come. Param Shanti Ka Charam Viram Akshar Dham Akshar Dham Chalo Chalihaam 
अक्षरधाम स्वामी नारायण अक्षरधाम चलो चले हम अक्षरधाम स्वामी नारायण अक्षरधाम In the same way, if we observe the niyams, Mahan Swami Maharaj writes, we too, be, too can become brave like a lion. We can become fearless like a lion, and nobody can stop us to go to Akshar Dham. If we really want to be the badak of Akshar Dham, remember three things: number one, do smruti; number two, do prayers; and number three, follow the niyams. Akshar Dham will be yours. Mohan Swami will be yours. Shri Ji Maharaj will be yours. Jai Swami Narayan. Kala bhavita roop chalakta. Kala bhavita roop chalakta. Mad masar nahi aasha trushna. Kala bhavita roop chalakta. मद मसर नहीं आशा तृष्णा जहाँ शांति और परमानंद है नहीं माया का भाव गंध है जहाँ शांति और परमानंद है नहीं माया का भाव गंध है सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम का सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम का सत्यचित आनंद हम अक्षर धाम स्वामी नारायण अक्षर धाम चलो चले हम अक्षर धाम स्वामी नारायण अक्षर धाम यू मे बी स्मॉल एंड यंग बट नो दिस यू आर All Akshar Mukto. You are all Akshar Dhamna Bad Mukto. Eva Mara Swami, Eva Mara Swami, Eva Mara Swami, Eva Mara Swami, Eva Mara Swami. Behind every event and moment, there's a dedicated team ensuring these experiences are captured. Our audiovisual team volunteers work tirelessly to enhance memories from perfecting sound to crafting engaging content. Even this spotlight you're witnessing wouldn't exist without the behind-the-scenes efforts of our AV volunteers. In our next segment, Voices of Volunteers, we shine a light on these dedicated individuals, our audiovisual volunteers. Rakesh Patel, I'm from Los Angeles. So it's very challenging on a daily basis. Um, our job is to try to capture light, and it's a enormous challenge on a daily basis to work with all the departments, various schedules, um, all around processes, um, things that are happening around the campus, events. But at the end of the day, when we go back to the edit room and we look at all of the images um, and really dig down into what was captured, that is truly rewarding. That we actually did capture the event well. Um, we captured memories, we captured emotions, um, and we're able to share that with the public. And it's it's just it's just a, it's an amazing feeling to to have when somebody comes up to you and says thank you so much for capturing that image or that memory for us um, and sharing that on the web with us. Yeah, I think the, the one of the most important things to remember is that we are just a a, a cog in the wheel. 
there is a larger you know force in play here right whether it's broadcast operations the audiovisual teams the networking teams the IT department the comms departments the social media departments all of these departments have to function as a cohesive unit to actually make the product and reaching reaching the people that are at the far ends of the earth with all of this content um, in, a, in a very cohesive manner is a, is a hard task. Um, so typically what we try to do is um, just devise a, a battle plan of things that people might remember. Um, so it's not just about pushing the button, but the moments that we're trying to capture for people. Um, so their moments with the Satvurush, that's of utmost importance to most people. Uh, the thing we typically try to do is their memories with Swami and trying to portray all of the, the reactions that Swami gives to them. So their, their form of bhakti and trying to capture that. So we're typically the first to arrive on site and go through our normal technical checklists. And usually we're the last to leave because we've got to do image processing. Um, that takes quite a bit of time in the evening and sequencing images to try to get them to, to tell the story about what happened during the day. So that whole process um, will probably take us, you know, all the way till two or three in the morning to, to complete. Did we capture the memories of people, um, their emotions? Did we portray those emotions well in the images that we capture? So that whole form of visual communication, did we actually do it justice for that day? So I think the key element um, in our department to executing by the end of the day is just teamwork. That's one of the, the main things, is that we all have to be on the same page and be able to work under the conditions that are given to us. But I think because we work hand in hand with each other and we always uh, support each other, that's the way that um, things get done. I think it's, it's adapting to the environment. Um, be, having people that can quickly react to changing situations. Um, and it's just like in life, is you have to adapt to what's around you. Sometimes you don't have to change your views, but you need to adapt because it, it, the event is much larger than you are. Um, at least in our team, I mean, the, the mantra is always that one band, one sound, right? Is people don't see the one individual photographer. They see the end result. So if we don't function as a cohesive unit, that's one of the biggest problems. But because we have that team concept that we are one band, one sound, that's the only thing that matters. I think it's it still comes down to just communication. It's just a different way to communicate, right? You use technology to as a form of communication, right? So so using in our, in our specific department, right? It's it's visual technology, but leveraging that to communicate how we do our various various tasks in, in daily life, right? So in terms of spirituality and technology, it really comes down to the communication form and how we, we, we practice. I think that's, that's one of the key things. I think one of the, the key things for, for future volunteers to, to know about is that you, when you come to an event this large, is you are instantly humbled by what you see and what you hear. Um, a lot of times when we walk around with the departments, we are, pe people are very open and they love to share their stories. So even if you just for a moment just keep your ears open, you'll hear all sorts of amazing things. All of these um, audiovisual core components, they are there to enhance the person's memories, their experience of the event. As we know, most people can't um, come to this place, that whether you know conditions don't allow for that or they just don't have the means to, to make it here. Um, we have to find a way to reach those folks as well. And so we have these larger teams, um, especially like broadcast operations and social media, um, and leveraging those mediums to try to deliver our message and the message of um, BAPS, it, it, it definitely takes a lot of work. Uh, but like I said, it's just a, we're just a little piece of the puzzle. Um, and it's truly rewarding to be part of that, that larger wheel that is actually delivering those uh, messages. In the last few weeks, we've been exploring different parts of the Akshadam campus. Now it's time to dwell into the heart of the Akshadam Mahamandir. In our next segment, we'll cover the why and the inspiration behind the entire Akshadam campus and what it means for our future generations. Join us as we discover the reasons behind building this Akshadam and exploring the ways this Mahamandir in America benefits all of us.
In this foreign land, my heart yearns for belonging. I carry the stories and traditions of my ancestors, searching for the threads that unite us. I think back to our roots, the place we came from, across oceans, on a continent 8,000 miles away, and time zones across. A place that is the home of my people, a people who practice one of the oldest religions and are descendants of one of the oldest civilizations on Earth. A religion that recognizes the interconnectedness and divinity of all life. A religion that offers a timeless and universal path to personal and global harmony. Generations ago, our forefathers set sail for this distant land. They planted the first seeds of our culture and religion in this new land, the seeds of a Hindu identity. In a place where such an idea seemed so foreign, bit by bit, they brought pieces of their homeland into this vast new country and made it their home. Seeds that would grow into a path for peace and harmony for all of humanity. Seeds adorned with art, food, and festivals, painting a vibrant canvas of joyful living. Seeds that would foster faith and culture, serving as centers for worship and community. Today, the seeds of our culture and our religion have found a home in every corner of the globe, including here in America, where they actively help sow the diverse tapestry of the country we now call home. These seeds have been transformed into spaces that resonate with our values, into architecture that honors our past, and into bridges that connect generations across decades. Continuing this tradition, there was an idea. <laughs> प्रदेश में भी एक बनाने की इच्छा कई है तो भी सब भगवान की दया से हो जाए एन आइडिया फॉर एन एपिसेंटर दैट कैन हेल्प किंडल द फ्लेम्स ऑफ हिंदुइज्म एन आइडिया दैट वुड नर्चर द टाइमलेस मैसेजेस ऑफ हिंदू रिलीजन फिलॉसफी कल्चर एंड आर्किटेक्चर फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस रेजिंग फैमिलीज इन अ लैंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ माइल्स अवे फ्रॉम इंडिया This idea, BAPS Swaminarayan Akshardham in Robbinsville, New Jersey, is just another addition to the long lineage of Hindu mandirs and cultural centers here in North America. Rooted in faith and powered by selfless service, Akshardham is a bridge that reconnects the youth to ageless traditions and timeless values, values of faith and harmony. values of seva and bhakti akshardham is not just a physical place it is a feeling a feeling of hindu spirituality we all experience in our mandirs a feeling of bliss of ultimate connection with the divine a feeling that belongs to every hindu every indian every indian american and every soul on this planet with open arms we welcome you to swami narayan akshardham akshardham will feature a mahamandir that will inspire all to connect with each other and with god regardless of one's beliefs and background the campus will inspire reflection a meditative environment for all 
a Hindu learning center that will introduce the spiritual history of the Hindu faith, share its rich cultural heritage, and inspire the core idea of unity in diversity. Swaminarayan Akshardham, along with the other Hindu mandirs and cultural centers in America, will help preserve our cherished traditions, both for this generation and generations to come. Rising up on top of the Akshadam Maha Mandir are the golden Kalashas. Traditionally, every Mandir has a sacred symbolic object known as the Kalash. Kalash is an essential element of traditional Hindu Mandirs. It is a metaphorical, sacred pot of nectar and a great religious significance. The Kalash is often a materials of copper, brass, even gold. Its elegant design embodies the ancient wisdom and cultural heritage. Inside this holy vessel, a small amount of water is placed symbolizing the divine presence of element of water as a source of life. It also represents purity and abundance. The Kalash further acts as a divine antenna, capturing the surrounding divinity and channeling it through the pinnacle to the Murthy's position directly beneath, enriching the sacred atmosphere of the Akshadam. So when you see a Kalash gracing the highest point of a mandir, understand that it's more than just a beautiful decoration. It's a vessel of spirituality, a symbol of hope, a reminder of timeless connection between people and the divine. The Nidhi Kalash, which stands at the base of Akshadam, was ceremoniously consecrated by Pramukh Swami Maharaj in 2011. <laughs> Kalasamadde Chandanam Samar Payami, Akshatan Samar Payami, Uspani Samar Payami, Abiram Gulalam Cha Samar Payami. Let's fast forward to today, 12 years later, to a truly special moment, the Kalash Pujan at the BAPS Swaminarayan Akshadam. This week, we witnessed the ceremony of the largest Amrut Kalash, which symbolizes the completion of this magnificent structure. His Holiness Mahan Swami Maharaj performed this sacred ceremony on the steps of Akshadam. हजार वर्ष में एक अज वक्त आओ अक्षर धाम नो निर्माण था ही अमेरिका खंड जेवा विषय विदेश में अनेमा एक अज वक्त आवा कलश नो विधि था ही आजे परम पूजे महंत स्वामी महाराज ना कर कमलों द्वारा थाई रहे हुए थे इतने आजे आनंद 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 थे जाने दिल्ली में अक्षरधाम था यू, जाने पर वजह प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज ने तो वो उत्साह तो ये उत्साह फैला अमदावाद मावेला है, इन्हें स्टेज ऊपर बता उत्साह कलश बोट गया, अने पशी ये बता कलश चोरों को जब मान प्रमुख स्वामी महाराजे खूब सारी थे कि आंगल पूजन विधि करो अने बदानी प्रदर्शन करी बदानों स्पर्श करो अने एक दिन के आजे पर यहाँ अगर 
अमेरिका अक्षरधाम रॉबिन स्वेरी महामंदिर एना कलशो अद्भुत बनया आ कलश नो महिमा अत्यंत है भव्य महामंदिर आवा अद्भुत बदा शिखरो बदा सांभणों घूमटना नापण बदा सांभणों लगभग मुख्य भव्य शिखर आप एशी फूटू त्यार आठ शिखर है ये लगभग पचास फूटनी आसपासना है त्यार पी चार सांभणों वच्चेना बे शिखर वच्चे ये बहुत सुंदर है चार घूमटनी जगह चार महासांभरण नीचे चार घूमट है परब्रह्म घूमट ब्रह्म घूमट मुक्त घूमट और ऐश्वर्य घूमट खास तो आ प्रसंग एट महत्व है कि जय आ महामंदिर कागर पर नक्शा में तेरे दिल्ली अंदर पूज्य प्रमुख स्वाई महाराजे आ महामंदिर बड़ी डिजाइन आखो ए फ्रंट ले आउट ए बद सारी रीते जो तमाम शिखरों जे कलशो एने स्पर्श कर दरेक शिखर पर एमने गुलाबन पुष्प आज थी लगभग बेहजार ने दस एटेर वर्ष पहला एमने दिल्ली की अंदर आ कलशो पर एमने गुलाबना पुष्प मूकी पूजन तो कर नाखेलू शिखर गमे एटू मोटू होटा मोटा अमल सारा हो बदूज हो जो कलश न हो तो शिखर की शोभा जीवी होइए ये बने नहीं अपने आनंद न आए जे महामंदिर सेवा करी अने महामंदिर कार्य समयसर पूजे महंत स्वाई महाराज की आज्ञा प्रमाण आप सौ जे पूर्ण करू तो बापा एटला बदा वारी गया कि बापा के के वर्णन करने मरी पास शब्दों नहीं बियॉन्ड द कलश देर सो मच टू सी एन एक्सपीरियंस एट दी अक्षरधाम कैम्पस इन द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट वोइसिस ऑफ अटेंडी We spotlight the personal experiences from those that have recently visited the campus and taken part in tours, programs and experiences. Now, let's listen to what our visitors had to say about their time here at the BAPS Swaminarayan Akshadham. The feeling and the trust that in another 1000 years if my great grandchildren want to learn about Hinduism, they know where to go. So the feeling that security of my religion being passed on to to thousands of generations coming in the future also in America keeping your culture this is the best way of teaching our children our heritage our culture our music our art and also our religion so i am incredibly thankful grateful to everyone who volunteered to make this happen this dream come true for all of us can explain myself the feelings i have i have my both sons with me to look at the around and see the akshadham and everything they wanted to do volunteer here i mean i cannot say more than that i haven't seen this anything like this in this country i mean like this is beyond just people's imagination what we saw today in in a carving and wood carving and everything uh, it's been really nice um seeing you know the architecture and i think just like the beauty of the whole place even when we were coming from the outside it was really nice you know you i think you felt a little bit at peace just kind of walking in and then just you know seeing everyone in inside was uh was great because you i think you got to experience maybe what everyone else was kind of experiencing as well overwhelmingly beautiful um it's artistically creative to a degree that i would never have imagined and i'm amazed that this is all put together by volunteers and uh, i think that just speaks to the power of uh you know a, a divine presence such as 
uh, Brahma Swami Maharaj and, and Mahant Swami Maharaj. I think, I think the inspiration that these sorts of uh, God men, so to speak, can give to us in the world is unlike anything I've seen. Uh, medicine is certainly um, aspires to be selfless and giving, but what the inspiration I see here is is transcendent. It's just something else. The positivity that this place creates, the love that it generates, the art that it presents in the way it's built, every corner, every nook, even this 127 lamps that are solar, you know, I mean, this is the phenomenon of architecture meeting art, meeting culture, meeting music, meeting heritage. So everyone can come here and get inspiration of what they're looking for. I think their dedication, their uh, like, you know, love to this place, they are leaving everything behind, you know, like, you know, some people are here from like six months or eight months or a year, uh, giving uh, their jobs, the money they were making or position they were in to come here to do the job, you know, from their heart. I think uh, the idea of like giving back and being being there to help back in, you know, the community or just, you know, something that you like believe in and something that like creates a, a better place and environment, I think is, is something that I've always wanted to do. And, you know, I think seeing a lot of the volunteers and the work they're doing and how they're doing it and where they came from, I think was really inspiring. So just being around that, I think would be very nice, you know, and so that's where a lot of that really came from. Um. And I think the words that come to mind just walking through here are selfless service for sure, artistry, but there's also great logic and reason uh, behind this production and this, this complex. It's very well thought out. Uh, when you walk in the door here, you check out your, your uh, ego and your individuality and you join the broader uh, sea of humanity that really is one at the core and you can feel it here actually. From the Symphony of Stones exhibit, I realized how much attention to detail went to every single part of Akshardham. Be it from the big mundups to the small carvings, everything has an intent to greet the visitors and to translate Hindu traditions. It was so much fun. It was an experience of a lifetime. This is the first time I've been able to be this close to this beautiful place. So this is like a dream come true for me. When I saw Akshardham for the first time, I'm like, wow, look how fast and look how big it's been built. The mind Mandir to me felt very grand. I am looking at the binoculars, I saw all the details and that I couldn't see from here. So it just felt like I'm just a small piece of a big puzzle and I'm able to just experience it for the first time. And soon once it opens, I'll be able to just see my eyes in a different perspective. Kind of like out of words, but at the same time, it was a peaceful like moment to be here and see Akshardham for the first time, and understanding where I came from, where my parents are, like how they did save out here, felt different to me. I cannot, just, I just cannot fathom the, the divinity of the Akshardham, and also just, just how glorious, majestic, magical it is. Um, and then just seeing that vision come into reality, it's just, it's unbelievable, but yet it's believable. So it's just, Amazing. First thing that uh, uh, stuck out to me as we started our tour was the people who took part in the seva. Okay, um, I saw that there were stories about some of the folks who have taken part in the uh, seva, and there's a family. It, I saw that whole families have taken part, and one of the um, stories that I read was about Riki Bai and Nikita Ben. Um, and I was inspired by that to see that both of them are working professionals, but decided to put their careers on hold and uh, join in in the Seva for long term. The first time going through this tour, I was really taken back at how big um, the Akshardham is and how beautiful it is. And then watching this video, you really can see what the inside feels like without even going inside. So I really felt like I was truly there um, and looking at all the carvings and stuff, so I'm a little excited when I actually get to go inside and kind of pinpoint what I saw in the video. For me personally, I think that being on Akshadam campus, we see a lot of these spots and we have been to a lot of them and sometimes we even pass by them, but 
visiting these spots on the tour, you get to learn so much about each spot, about the Maima, about Pramukh Swami Maharaj's input into it, about Mahan Swami Maharaj's attention to detail in each and every one of these spots. And it makes you feel like you know a little bit more, not only about the history of Akshardham, but about the Maima of Akshardham. So not only is this Pramukh Swami Maharaj's sanko, but you can see what he paid attention to, what prasangs are behind this spot or what the meaning of this motif in the welcome center is. Knowing all of that just increases your Maima for Akshardham and also it gives you a greater appreciation for how everything has fit together into what we see today. Now let's turn our spotlight to our spirited junior hosts for this week's BAPS Kids Newscast. Let's now pass the mic to our junior reporters. Take it away, young friends. Hi, my name is Shane Brumbutt, and welcome to the BAPS Kids Newscast. Do you have a kid's meal that comes with a toy? No, we don't have a kid's meal that comes with a toy, but we do have something that you're going to enjoy. I'm going to get pizza. For dessert, what are you going to get? I'm going to get cupcake. What do you like about Akshadam the most right now? It's beautiful and it has so many designs. Oatmeal cookies or chocolate chip cookies? Chocolate chip. Yeah, I would eat chocolate chip too. I'm going to buy gold coffee and I think that's it. I think I'm just going to keep interviewing more people. That's nice. Thank you. What are you going to eat today? I don't know. Everything <laughs> smells so good right now. Everything is good. What do you What do you recommend? Um, Pizza. Pizza? <laughs> My favorite too. Mine too. All right. What kind of topics? Just cheese. <laughs> Can we drive around in your car you around go. campus? Can your feet reach the pedal? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Imagine if you actually gave that to me and they put it on video. Thank you for everything you do to protect the USA. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you. What are you guys making? We are making some cheese quesadillas. We have some grilled cheese, uh, french fries, which everybody likes. What's the tastiest thing that you have here? I think grilled cheese and tomato soup and french fries. Yeah. Do you twirl everything? No, not everything. Just grilled cheese and quesadilla. Then why does it say from the grill? Because the cheese quesadilla and the grilled cheese is from the grill. Caramel frappuccino with almond milk. We don't have that here. What do you have? We have these juices. You can choose from here. Can I have a lychee mango? Lychee mango. Lychee mango. Make lychee mango. I will do cupcake eating challenge with my family. Let's go. I don't know which one to eat, guys. Should I eat this or this? They both look super good. Now let's see who can eat the cupcake the fastest. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> what? <laughs> Should we cheers? I got some momos, common, Manchurian, my favorite thumbs up. <laughs> What'd you like from it? I really enjoyed my Manchurian. Can I tell you the secret ingredient? You know the secret ingredient? Yeah. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What'd you get today? I got nachos and cheese fries. What do you like from it? Everything. It's so yummy. Do you know the secret ingredient? Oh, they all said they were going to join me for lunch, but then the last minute they all canceled on me. Oh, can I eat with you? Oh, please join me. Thank you, man. Thanks for watching the BPS Kids Newscast. Bye, see you later.
in our next segment, we shine a light on the amazing community work done by BAPS and its committed volunteers. Join us as we explore the inspiring initiatives featured in this week's BAPS in the Community. To BAPS of Robbinsville, I would just like to say thank you from the Rescue Mission of Trenton for your wonderful donations of hygiene kits, food, and just the amount of people it's really going to help us help through those donations, especially in the spirit of giving. We also offer a food pantry, which is where a lot of these nice donations will be going to us to our food pantry. It'll really help a lot of people, you know, make that adjustment and even for a short while, feel better about themselves, yeah. I can tell you just that the, the mission reaching out to from the East Coast to the West Coast, thousands of people like that, that's powerful, man. That, that really means something, that's deep. Coming out today and volunteering and partnering with us on our back to school drive um, means everything. It means the world to us to be thought of from not just internally, but externally. It sets up our kids to be able to go into school, be able to do their schoolwork, be able to dream and not worry about, I don't have my supplies. On the behalf of the Boys and Girls Club of Mercer County, I just want to thank Oxfordum USA and Days of Giving for giving back to our community and our club kids. We have a lot of volunteers and a lot of folks coming in getting help today, so it's, it's a good day at TAS. We rely on donations from the community to offer our services. Uh, we provide food and uh, hygiene products to help our local people in this community uh, meet their daily needs. Donations like this, especially large donations, will go a long way. I want to thank everyone at Oxford Dom USA Temple for this donation. It will go to, uh, to good use immediately. We will begin to spread this through the community and we are we're very appreciative of that. As we approach the finale of this week's Akshardown Spotlight, let's focus our minds, silence the external world, look inwards as we transition into this week's motivational moment, spoken by Bujagnan Purushdas Swami. A flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it. It just blossoms. In a similar way, success comes to us in many different forms. We all have our time in which we blossom. But sometimes, when things go wrong, as they often will, we need to focus on four different things. And these four principles are very important to keep us going. The first one is positivity. The second is passion. The third is persistence. And the fourth is prayer. A famous footballer, a soccer player, he missed out on going to the European competition in 2016 with a very bad injury. But you know, at that time, he said something very important. He said, I could be standing here feeling sorry for myself. I could fear for my career as others may do. I could also give up everything. But he said, that is not me. I decide my future. He said, there is a big picture to everything in life. And only failing to see that will actually cause you to fail. Quite important to know that he said that I am a hard worker, that's persistence. He said I am a fighter, he had a great passion. And he said that if all of us know that we will get success at some time, then that little setback is not going to put you back. In fact, it is a road, it's a path for a comeback. He said, we trust ourselves when the going gets tough. He said, I have the greatest respect for those who can overcome their personal challenges in life with a positive attitude. He said, I also want to live up to that. So I remain calm, I remain positive, and I will continue to follow my path with passion. And he said, 
then I will also pray to get the success that I want. And that conviction will grow ever more. Ever more. Someone has said, just because you take longer than others, doesn't mean that you have failed. And this is so true, because sometimes when you don't get your chance to play in a game, and you're spending so much time as a substitute, as a reserve, then you think that, oh, when am I going to get my chance? But a player, he said that I don't think anyone has been on the bench more than me. A famous player who used to play for a club in England. He said that I tell my players now, I say that you never know you might come on and you could make an impact. So you must grab that opportunity. You must have the positive mindset. You must work hard and get through and you will find success. A very famous footballer, Messi, one of the arguably one of the best footballers today, he said that, look, I work hard, I also pray. And he said that I've, I've not become an overnight success. I've become successful because I work day and night, year after year. It has taken me 17 years and 114 days to become an overnight success. So this is really the gist of how we can also achieve greatness. We can achieve success in our lives by working hard, that's persistence, by prayer, by having the passion, and by having a positive mindset. If we have those principles as those skill sets in our life, we can also become very successful in life. As our Spotlight episodes continue, remember that each one brings us closer to understanding the makes of BAPS Akshardham, a remarkable symbol of art, architecture, and Hindu culture. Our hope is that the wisdom shared, the stories we've explored, the voices we've heard, will inspire you not just for this week, but for years ahead. We look forward to welcoming you back to the BAPS Akshardham Spotlight. Namaste and Jai Saminarayan.